Hallelujah. Well, praise God. Good morning, family. Welcome to our broadcast this morning. We are truly thankful uh, to have you join us. And we are honored to have you this morning. I want to encourage you to get out your Bibles, get a pen, get a notebook, and get a cup of coffee as we share God's word this morning. Amen. Praise God. Let us open up in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your precious word. Thank you for another glorious opportunity, Father God to share your word and thank you that as your word is shared this morning father god that we will receive strength we'll receive lord god nourishment encouragement lord i pray for everybody that is under the influence of this broadcast this morning i pray lord that you'll touch them i pray lord that uh, faith will be imparted to them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father those who are weak that they'll receive strength this morning I ask this in Jesus' blessed name, and I pray, Lord, that you'll anoint my vocal cords to, Lord, share your word with your people this morning. In your precious name, Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. Praise God. Amen. Well, welcome once again. Uh, I'd like you to, this morning, as a foundational, just to open up in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 28, and we're going to read verse number 1. And I believe it's a word that's very appropriate for the time that we find ourselves in currently in our world. And um, whatever situation you are facing this morning, I believe this is a word of encouragement to you as well. So the book of Proverbs uh, 28 and verse number 1, the Bible says, The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. The word bold, the dictionary defines the word bold as um, uh, showing a willingness to take risks. Um, it also defines it as having courage and having confidence. And that is what the dictionary describes being bold as. And in the text that we've just read in the context, um, from the Hebrew, original Hebrew word batak, it means to trust, it means to have or be confident, it means to be secure, and it means to be sure. That is what the Bible is saying, is that the righteous are sure of what they hope for. They are sure of what they hope for. They are sure of what God has called them to do. They are sure of what God has promised them. They don't question it, they don't doubt it, they don't cower down or back down, but they are bold as a lion. And a lion, if you look at a lion, the uh, uh, characteristics of a lion, a lion, number one, knows its position. A lion knows its position and it knows the authority that it has. Hence you find that when a lion roars, a lion, when it roars, it's actually communicating to, uh, to other prides its, its actual position. A lion roars to communicate its position to other tribes. A lion also um, is very protective over their territory. That's the thing about a lion. It's very protective over its territory. And that is how we should be as believers. That's how we should be as children of God. We should be protective over our faith. Don't let down your God. When God has given you a word to step out of, the, uh, of that boat and step onto those waters, then you do that. You don't, you don't question it. You just go for it because God is with you. Amen. You are sure that God has got your back. You are sure that God is your backbone. Amen. Another thing about a lion, a lion is energetic and a lion is strong. In the times that we find ourselves in, we've got to be energetic people. We've got to be strong people. And our strength, our strength is not our own. We are not dependent on our own strength. We are not dependable on our strength, our own physical strength. We are not dependable upon our own resources. Our dependency, our sufficiency, 
and our strength is in the Lord. Hallelujah. Our strength is in the word of God. That is where we receive our strength from. That is where we, where we, where we receive our encouragement from. And that's what I want to encourage you with this morning is to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And the Bible says, after having done all, stand. Amen. Stand. Praise God. Stand your man. Stand your ground. Don't let, don't let down your God. Amen. Be bold. The wicked flee when no one pursues. Because of fear. Because of fear, many people um, fail to achieve what God has actually called them to achieve in life. Fear is number one. It's, it's, it's the root cause of many downfalls of many lives. So don't allow fear to grip your heart. Don't allow fear any, any place or any foothold in your life. Resist all fear. If you look at fear, fear is actually an, an acronym. F-E-A-R. It is false expectations appearing real. It is not real. It is a false expectation. That, that is what you are expecting. If you can just step in faith. Faith tells you what God is expecting. And once you... Once you understand what God expects, once you understand what God sees, how when you when you when you can begin to see how God thinks and what God says about your situation, you find that fear will have no foothold in your life. You'll be able to stand your mind, stand your ground, and you'll be able to overcome whatever situation that you are faced with this morning. Hallelujah. You know, when you go to the army, one thing they do in the army, the first thing they do, they teach you your posture. They teach you your posture. You ought to stand straight, stand up straight. And then they tell you your shoulders back, chest out, chin up. Why? Because they're telling you that you have some dignity within you. Also, they are telling you that, listen, when you go to battle and you face like that, your enemy looks at you and they see how confident you are. They see how bold you are and they become threatened because of that. And that is you this morning. And that's what I want to tell you this morning. Don't crouch before your enemy. Don't crouch be be uh, before whatever it is that you're facing because God is with you. Hallelujah. When you look at uh, the life of Saul, when Saul went to look for his father's donkeys. He got to Samuel, the prophet. And when Samuel um, anointed Saul as king, he said something very profound to Saul. He said to Saul, um, when you go your way, you'll find a band of prophets and the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will be transformed into another man. That is 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. Um, Samuel tells Saul, when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, you'll be turned into another man. And child of God, that's you and I. We have the Spirit of God. Not only is He upon us, but He is within us. And He is the power of God within us. And He causes us to overcome. Hallelujah. That's the same Spirit that we have. That same Spirit which raised up Christ Jesus from the dead. He dwells within us and He quickens our, our mortal bodies. In other words, your thought processes are quickened. Praise God. You don't think as you used to think before. That's why Saul's mentality had to change. Because he was from one of the littlest tribes in Israel. But he was anointed king. When the spirit of the Lord came upon him, he was changed into another man. He saw himself for the king that God had anointed him to be. And I see that happening in your life this morning. Begin to see yourself as the child of God that God has anointed, called and appointed you to be in this hour. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You can be like David. You know, when David got before, uh, when, he, when he stood before Goliath, he didn't cower, he didn't run away. David understood his positioning with God. He knew who he was in God. And he knew that God was with him. And that was that spirit of boldness that he had that he was able to overcome the giant. So that's my word to you this morning. It doesn't matter what giant you are facing this morning. I believe that there's a power within you that is greater than that, is, that, that which is without you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Look at um, uh, Adam in the book of Genesis chapter number 2 verses 19 to 20. The Lord God forms all the beasts of the field and then he forms the birds of the air and then he brings them to Adam. 
And he tells, and why he brought them to Adam, the Bible tells us is to see what Adam would call them. That's why he wanted to see what Adam would, would actually call them. And that is, that is my word to you this morning. When you see the Goliath before you, what do you see? Do you see somebody that's greater than you? When you see the mountain before you, do you see a mountain that's being greater, that it, uh, uh, being greater than you yourself? Let me share with you something in the book of Zechariah, chapter number 4 and verses 6 to 7. Uh, the Bible says, So he, speaking of the angel, answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. It's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Watch this. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. Hallelujah. It's time you looked at your Goliath. It's time you looked at whatever mountain is before you and you told it what would become of it. Hallelujah. That's what David did to Goliath. He said to Goliath, today, this day, the Lord my God will deliver your head into my hand. Hallelujah. David didn't even have a sword, yet he prophesied before what he was going to do with Goliath. He just went with a sling and a few stones. And the Bible says that when he, when he took the stone and he and he let go. The stone hit the giant square on between the eyes. Goliath fell. And when Goliath fell, David used Goliath's own sword to chop off his head. And I see that with you this morning. The Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what the enemy has devised against you. I got news for you. That very same thing that the enemy has used to come up against you. That's the same thing. God, God is going to give you the victory and you're going to use the very same thing to overcome the enemy praise God hallelujah amen when um, when um, Adam had to name all of these animals Adam didn't run away because at that time Adam had the nature of God the righteous nature of God there was no fear there in the garden there was no fear there Adam was righteous he was blameless and when Adam saw the lion he named the lion a lion. When he saw the bear, he named the bear a bear. He didn't run away from them. Hallelujah. Because he knew his positioning with God. And that's the thing. You've got to know your positioning with God. When you understand your positioning with God and you understand who you are in Christ, who you are in Christ, who Christ has made you to be because the Son of God makes you a son. And if a son, then an heir, a joint heir with Christ. So you can rule and reign in this life. How? Through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to close with this last scripture in Proverbs chapter number 3, verses 25 to 26. The Bible says, be not afraid of sudden fear. There are many people that are afraid today. Fear, afraid of their lives, afraid of their livelihoods, afraid of everything. But God says in his word, he says, be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation, the destruction, the devastation of the wicked when it comes. Amen. God says, do not be afraid of those things. Why? Verse 26 tells us why. For the Lord shall be your confidence. The Lord shall be your confidence and he shall keep your foot from being taken god will keep you in this hour i believe god will keep you in this hour amen god is your backbone in this hour amen you may be i may be speaking to someone this morning that's probably lost a job you probably lost your job but don't be discouraged friend take heart i believe that whatever gifting you have whatever skill you have You've been using, many of you have been using your gifts for so long to build somebody else's dream. Don't look and see that you've probably been, uh, you, you've been retrenched in this hour and uh, you now all of a sudden you, you, you all of a sudden are afraid and fearful of what will become of your life. If you could use your gift and your talent and your skills 
to build somebody else's dreams for all these years or all these months, however long it is. I don't know, but you know, if you could do that for all these years and see how that person's dream has been built, how about looking at it this way? It's probably time for you to build your own dreams. Use those talents and skills and put them to work. Start small. The Bible says, though your beginning be small, your latter shall be greater. Amen. So begin to do something. Start small and gradually God will increase you and God will cause you to grow and increase and expand. It won't happen overnight, friend. It's going to take some time, but, but persevere. Persevere, persevere. Amen. Persevere as a good soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. Persevere. Maybe in this hour you're probably at home and you're not at work or, you know, probably use this opportunity. Use this as an opportunity for you to study something. Use this opportunity for you to develop a talent or a skill. And from that, you'll be able to grow and whatever it is, you'll be able to put that onto your CV because what you're actually doing is when you become uh, 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 um, uh, industrious in your life, what you are doing, you are actually giving God something to work with. It's no good folding your arms and saying, Lord, I trust you for a job. But what are you doing to add on to your CV so that God can market you? And that's one of the characteristics of a lion. A lion is energetic. So you got to be energetic in this hour and pursue the dreams that God has laid upon your heart. Pursue them as a good soldier. Amen. Praise God. And whatever it is that you are going through, my friend, my word of encouragement to you is take courage and be of courage. That was God's word to Joshua when he had to fill Moses' shoes. The Lord God said to Joshua, says, be of good courage and do not fear. As I was with Moses, so am I with you. And God is saying that to you this morning. Do not be afraid, but be of good courage. As I was with Moses, as I was with Joshua, as I was with Samson, as I was with David, as I was with Daniel, so am I with you this morning. And that is what God is saying to you this morning. Take courage and be of good cheer. Amen. For the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, has overcome. And because He has overcome, you and I have overcome. We've overcome by the blood of the Lamb of God and the word of our testimony. Amen. Whatever the circumstance that you are facing this morning, you can tell it that Jesus Christ is Lord. Preach the gospel to it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Because when you do that, you are actually saying Christ is in control. Christ is in charge. And well, no matter the storm that is around you, you are actually allowing the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ that lives within your heart. You are allowing that to flow out of you and to control your, your surrounding, to control your environment and to control your life. So let the peace of God rule your heart this morning. Amen. Praise God. Well, I trust that you've been encouraged this morning by this telecast and um, I want to encourage you, write to us. Uh, we love to hear from you. Share us your uh, prayer requests. Send them to us. We pray for you often. We love you. We really appreciate you. Pray for you often. And send us the, um, some uh, praise reports and tell us what the Lord has done in your life. The details are appearing on the screen. Amen. Now, before I leave, i just like to release the final blessing as we close this morning's broadcast. Just stretch your hands towards the screen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth bless you. The Lord keep you in the palm of his hand. And the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and every one of you both now and forevermore in Jesus' wonderful name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Well, praise God. This is Pastor Ricardo saying thank you very much for joining us. We love you very much. God bless you. Um, keep on walking by faith. Walk boldly. Walk, walk tall, I believe. Walk tall. Uh, um, God makes you tall. God makes you strong. 
walk in his strength, walk in his ability this, more, uh, this week coming. And I trust that you're going to have a blessed week. Amen. Praise God. Until next time, God bless you. Goodbye.